Hey everybody, let's tag this Shopify website with everything Google. We'll do GA4 enhanced e-commerce. We'll add enhanced conversions to that GA4 instance. We'll do all of this in Google Tag Manager. We'll add uh, conversion tracking in Google Tag Manager, and we'll add enhanced conversions to the conversion tracking tag in Google Tag Manager. We'll do all of this and we'll track all sorts of events as well. And I'll show you how to debug it. Okay. Let's try doing all of this in less than 10 minutes. Remember, this is rocket science. I want everybody to learn how to do it. You can download the files that I use in the description. Check that out. Here's a Shopify site. Okay, this is my test site. I just spun this up quickly. You can spun, you can spin up a test site with just a dollar a month or sorry, a dollar for the first month, and then the price goes up. But if you want to play around and learn this stuff, then you can do it, and, uh, you know, it takes way less than a month, so I think it's well worth the dollar to sign up. All right, so here is the test store. I've added two products to it. They all have a value, so we'll be able to track that with enhanced e-commerce and with our test conversion action. So let's have a look over here. So again, this is the main area of the Shopify site. Now click over here, click on edit code. And this is the main liquid file, okay? The first thing though we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here on the left. We're gonna scroll down and we are going to click on snippets. Let's click on add a new snippet and let's just call it data-layer, okay? Click on done. And now, we're going to go inside the folder that you are going to access when you download this folder and we're just going to click on snippet.js and we're going to open it up. We're going to copy everything inside it. We're going to add it to this snippet file that you created. Click on save. Now that's done. Okay, scroll all the way to the top here and look for the main theme.liquid file. Now, underneath the opening head tag, that's where we're going to call our data layer file we've just created. So that's a snippet we just created. We added all the data layer code to it. And the way to call this snippet is the first thing that loads is you use one of these squiggly braces and then you Shift five, so percent sign. See, it adds another percent sign afterwards. And then you do tick, right? Single quote. And then you type in data dash layer. Okay. Oh, I forgot the word render. That's key here. There you go. Now it's all colored properly and it links to the data layer dot liquid file. So just to recap, squiggly brace, percent sign, render, single quote, data layer, single quote again, and then make sure there's that question mark, or sorry, make sure there's that um, percent sign and squiggly brace, and then you're done. Now let's assume you already have a Google Tag Manager container created. If you don't, create one, super easy. So I already have one created, here it is. Test Shopify, I've created my Google Tag Manager account and container. You can do that quite easy. Head over here to admin. And then once you're in admin, look for install Google Tag Manager right here. Click that. Copy this first code snippet. Add it underneath your render data layer piece of code. Press save. Great. That now added a fully functioning data layer for enhanced e-commerce and enhanced conversions to every page of your Shopify site. Congrats. What you have to do now is add the data layer code snippet and GTM to the checkout area. So go to settings in Shopify and now click on checkout, scroll down, go to this additional script section and in the folder where you see my files here, 
you're going to expose the contents. You can open this up in Notepad or whatever you use uh, to edit code, but Notepad is totally fine. So you can say open in Notepad. So open up checkout.js, control C, all of it. Control A to highlight all of it, control C to copy all of it. Add it here in additional scripts. Now the key part here is, you see at the top, you'll see the Google Tag Manager code snippet. And I've just added gtm-xxxxxx. It's a placeholder for your GTM ID. So if you go over here, back to your GTM container, let's exit out of here. You'll notice GTM dash, you want everything after the dash. So yours is gonna look different than mine, but just grab that. Okay, you can also grab it from here. All right, but that might be difficult to copy and paste. Admin, just grab it from here. You can just highlight everything after the dash. Go back to Shopify and then paste it here. Oops, might be a little tricky. Just put your mouse cursor there. And then I'm going to say Control V and there it is. So now we're going to save. Okay, great. Okay, I think that did it. Let's expand this browser window. And then let's look at what our, our site looks like. View online store, it's our test site. Okay, let's go, let's right click here and we'll go to inspect. And then you go to console, type in data layer. Oops, somebody's messaging me, ignore that sound. And then like, whoops. And then here you can see what is loading. So your data layer is loading. Okay. If you go to one of the products, an event will fire. Hopefully it's the view item event. It is perfect. So view underscore item. That's an e. That's an enhanced e-commerce event. And if you expand it, you can see there's an e-commerce array. And the currency it's adding, it says Canada or Canadian. So that, that will be different depending on where your store is in the world and what the currency is. But you can expand the items array. Oops. Expand the items array. And you can see details about the product, the brand, the ID, the name, the price. Ignore everything here. Um, I'm getting messages on WhatsApp. But anyway, here's the product ID, the quantity, the variant ID, everything you want in a Shopify data layer for enhanced e-commerce. Okay. Now, once a purchase is made, you'll actually see enhanced conversions data. So this will be in a, in a, uh, in a customer data array. And it doesn't just include the email. It includes the phone number, the email, the address, and all the data that Google requires. Now you must be asking yourself, well, what next? I can't just do all my tagging with a data layer only. Well, I've included a Google Tag Manager container as well. So here's your workspace, right? This is a typical Google Tag Manager workspace. It doesn't have anything in it. If you go over here to admin, and then you click on import container, click on choose container file in that in that folder again you'll see right there's a folder that says gtm container double click that double click the file in there and then say you know under here it says choose workspace <clears throat> if it's a brand new container just say existing okay default workspace that's fine and then overwrite is fine unless you have stuff in there if you have stuff in there you want to click on merge so you can selectively update things but in my case, I don't have anything. This is a brand new GTM container. I'm just gonna click on overwrite and then I'm gonna click on confirm. Look at that, 11 things were added. So you see here we have tags. We have a conversion linker tag, a GA4 all pages tag, a GA4 advanced e-commerce, or sorry, enhanced e-commerce tracking tag, and then a Google Ads conversion tracking tag. We have triggers as well. Here's all that customer data for enhanced conversions. Here is, uh, the, it's going to be looking at the data layer and it's going to send e-commerce data. We saw that that is present. 
And check out this cool trigger. So it's going to be looking for regex of that pipe sign, which is or view item, view item uh, list, all the way to purchase. Oh, by the way, there's even an add to cart event that is fired. I'll show you all of that now, but uh, let's do a preview mode and I can show you both the data layer and what, uh, what is happening in Tag Manager and how that relates to the Shopify site. But this is totally finished. Actually, it's not totally finished. What you need to do is in GA4, you need to click on these tags and over here are your measurement ID. You need to replace G-replace with your actual measurement ID in GA4. Okay, so you just have to do one step. So there you have to replace that there, G-replace. And if you go to um, GA4 all pages, replace it here, G-replace. Replace that with your GA4 measurement ID. Uh, conversion tracking as well. You want to click on this and you want to replace your conversion ID with the conversion ID that is found in your conversion action in Google ads, right? For this one, it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, replace this conversion label. I just added a placeholder here with yours and then everything else leave the way it is because this will grab the value from your Shopify site. This will grab the ID, the currency, and it will also fire when a purchase takes place and it will pass enhanced conversions data. So just replace the ID and the conversion label with your conversion action in, in Google Ads. So grab the right conversion action details and add it there. Grab the right details from GA4 and add it to these GA4 tags. The all pages tag, replace that, that ID, and replace this ID here. Okay, everything else leave the way it is. And then just, you know, publish and go. But before we publish, I wanna show you the preview mode. So click on preview in GTM. My website is already populated here because I've tested it already, but you might need to add the website address here, you know, your Shopify website address that you just did this tagging on and then click on connect. Okay. And here we go. Let's go over to this tab and you can see this blinking little tag icon. Click on continue. It's already working, right? So we see GA4 all pages has load because the page has load, has loaded, and then the conversion linker has loaded as well. Now let's go back to the site. Let's look at this particular product. I called it test product. Then we can go back to the debug window. There we go. GA4 enhanced e-commerce tracking has fired. Okay. Okay, the data source is the data layer. The view item event has fired, and then that triggered the GA4 enhanced e-commerce tracking tag. You can see the GA4 all pages tag does not fire because the GA4 enhanced e-commerce tracking tag fired. So there's no duplication happening in there. And then again, this is the data source for this is the data layer. So if we look at the data layer while we're on this view underscore item event, we can click on data layer and we can see the data about the product is here. Get the value and all sorts of other metadata about the product. Okay, now let's go back to the site and we'll just click on add to cart. And like I said, so check out this, check this out. So this is the add to cart event. Go back to the site, add to cart event fires right here. The add to cart event fires, that's awesome. Enhanced e-commerce tracking also fires on the add to cart event. You check the data layer. And then again, there's the add to cart event and there's metadata about the product. Nice. I wonder if an event fires if I remove it. I haven't tested that. Well, what happens here? So this is actually the cart. Oh, here's view cart. There's a view cart event. Data about the product, metadata. And if I remove it, Remove from cart event fires. Okay, awesome. And then uh, let's add it again because I want to show you the purchase event. So here's the all collections. The view item list fires. Okay, it shows you all the items that are viewed. So I have two products. There is an array with product one and product two. 
So we're going to go back to this test product and we're going to add it to cart and we're going to check out. Begin checkout event. How cool is that? Another event there and enhanced e-commerce tracking data layer with the event uh, and the information about the product. Okay, let's check out. So I'm going to say check out as a guest and I'm going to add my email. And what am I going to do? Oh, cash on delivery. So I don't want to enter credit card information. This is sort of in test mode anyway. And I'm going to add information here. Complete order. Watch this. This is cool. Uh, yep. So if we go over here, we've got the purchase event that fires. We've got a tag and it's firing the Google Ads conversion tracking tag. Look at this. We've got the enhanced uh, conversions data. It's got my email and my address information. It's got uh, GA4 enhanced e-commerce tracking. This is also firing on the purchase event. So the data layer is firing customer data. It's hashing an email as well if you want to use that. And here's the e-commerce array and it shows me information about the product. And if we look at the Google Ads conversion tracking tag, we can see here that we've got the conversion value that's being passed, the conversion label that I need you to update, and the conversion ID that I need you to update. But then it's got the country code that's coming in as a variable and the transaction ID that's coming in as a variable as well. But what's important here is you've got uh, enhanced conversions data coming through. And I did that so quickly. That was, I think I did the tagging in probably less than five minutes. And I did the debugging and the tagging in less than 10 minutes. I haven't seen the timestamp or the uh, timer of this video, but that was really, really quick. And there you go. There's no reason you shouldn't have all proper tagging in place on your Shopify site. This was super easy and very comprehensive. Okay, enjoy. Have a good one.